the third compound on the top five essential for longevity is cholecalciferol. A steroid enzyme or a pro-hormone known to many as vitamin D. One of the five forms of the vitamin D. It is the supplementation with this form specifically the D3 form of vitamin D that brings health benefits as supplementation with other forms of vitamin D is either less effective or has no health benefits at all. To understand the role of vitamin D in the maintenance of health, let's look into vitamin D deficiency. Osteoporosis, lung fibrosis, increased risk of chronic heart disease and type 2 diabetes, risk of acute respiratory tract infections and ARDS, the acute respiratory distress syndrome, poor immunity and increased susceptibility to viral and bacterial infections, cancers, and also increases the risk of preterm birth. On the contrary, supplementation with vitamin D is associated with reduction of development and mortality from cancers, especially colorectal cancers, reduction of inflammatory bowel disease, improved cognitive function and less occurrence of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, reduced occurrence of diabetes and reduced occurrence of respiratory infections. As for the immunity, vitamin D3 improves all parameters and pathways of innate and adaptive immunity. This brief review would not be complete without touching the topic of vitamin D and COVID-19. The analysis of studies investigating association between serum vitamin D concentrations and incidence or treatment of COVID-19 has shown that one small study from Spain involving 76 individuals reported significantly reduced disease severity among patients given higher dose of vitamin D during their hospital admission. Another even smaller trial from India involving only 40 patients with mild and asymptomatic COVID-19 shown that patients were more likely to test negative after 21 days following daily vitamin D supplementation starting at a dose of 1500 IUs. A single oral dose of 5000 IU vitamin D did not influence length of stay among Brazilian patients with severe COVID-19, which is quite expected since it was only a single dose given to the patients. Some observational studies, but not all, reported an association between vitamin D deficiency and greater incidence or severity of COVID-19. Interesting how vitamin D influences longevity and performance status. Although randomized controlled trials showed no significant impact of vitamin D supplementation on testosterone level in neither healthy middle-aged men nor in aging individuals with chronic diseases, it seems that vitamin D has positive correlation with performance status, uh, the cortisol level, total and free testosterone levels in young athletes. As for the lifespan, indeed, experimental studies show a dramatic increase of lifespan in primitive animals. However, most of the human studies are done with the lower dose of vitamin D. In addition to that, Canadian Medical Association Journal has published an article in 2012 stating that low vitamin D levels link to longevity. It's quite surprising. Conclusion was made. Apart from that, I could not find any convincing epidemiological data on this topic 